Daha önce de söylediğim gibi. Hazine. As I said earlier, we didn't have any prior experience regarding searching for treasures, but our friend is the one who brought his devices and started searching. What he did at the start was using a device with a long range locator to make sure there are no other signals that might have interfered with the place and waste our time searching around in circles. So he started locating the signal source, which was conveniently enough the well that we suspected in the first place. Next he used another sensor to ensure the signal source and to determine the depth. That device gave us accurate results. He used multiple searching sensors with the same device to locate the target location and depth precisely, which is 80 centimeters from the ground surface. How was the moment of truth for you? It was a wonderful moment, dreamlike, when the device started alerting us towards the buried metal, especially when it was confirmed that something was emitting such a strong signal that even a newbie in the field of research would have known the size of the target for a signal like that. At first, we did not believe it. We tried the device outside the explored area and making what he called a new ground balance and the device was working accurately, which confirmed the legitimacy of the target. Then I asked all my friends to bring the tools and start digging. It was a critical moment. The fear of being a fake signal and all that was buried with some worthless metal without any material or archaeological value. And that all we were hoping for was a dream worth making disappointment prevail on us. But at the same time, it was an exciting moment that it was possible to have something buried with value and to benefit everyone. All I can tell you is that it was mixed feelings, fear for the absence of something of value and wishful thinking that the dream may come after a long wait. <laughs> How long did it take from locating the target to start the digging? No one was thinking of time. Hours were passing like minutes in excitement. Time sense was absent and nobody felt that it took a long time. But in fact, when the digging started and the signal source location, heartbeats were accelerating. Everyone started losing patience for something to show up. Was it gold, silver, valuable artifacts? And the urging question of when the digging is going to stop, the sun was setting, the light was fading away, which made visibility hard and the digging was not over yet. So one of our friends lit up their car headlights towards the site and others turned on their phone flashlights to increase the visibility. And then time started passing slowly and worries arose. What if we did something wrong and things were not going as we hoped? fearing that digging late at night might get us reported to the local authorities by someone. All of these worries and fears were turning the dream into a nightmare. And then, suddenly, someone shouted aloud, I can see parts of pottery on the surface. At that moment, joy washed over us as our digging and efforts were fruitful and not in vain. The digging accelerated to show the pottery that was broken at the top. Releasing it from the soil was really hard as it was very brittle. The broken parts were collected and the soil was inspected to see what it contained. Turns out it was coinage, which we thought was gold at first, but actually were ancient silver coins with historical value that had to be determined by experts.